guys, so today if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm going to be cooking something from um, one of the Queer Eye episodes I watched. So basically, Queer Eye is like a lifestyle show where five gay guys like help kind of get that person they're helping life together and one of the portions is like cooking. I saw Anthony cook a, butter, a roasted butternut squash soup. And it looked really good, so I want to try it. But I'm only going to be looking at that clip from the episode to cook this. So hopefully, like, I get the portions right. And also, I'm going to be adjusting a few things just because, like, for instance, he said half an onion, but this onion's so small compared to the squash. So, you know? So you guys can guesstimate with me. Hopefully, this turns out well. But also, um, there was two squashes on the video clip I just watched, but they only cut half and used half of each. So I feel like that's just one that's just one squash and this is humongous. But if I feel like I'm gonna need a second one, I'll use it. But oh the oven's done preheating. You need the butternut squash, onion, celery, garlic, low sodium chicken broth, heavy cream, sour cream, and rosemary and salt. Oh, olive oil too. Okay, so I'm gonna start cutting this. I never cut a squash before. Like this. Oh god. How do I even cut the skin off? Like this? That's good, right? Maybe I cut them really small because it says roasted. Okay guys, so my camera died. But I just took the liberty of cutting it because no one wants to watch me cut all this, you know? But I found out why they didn't use the bottom half in the clip I watched. It's because there's seeds in it, like this whole patch. And honestly, like I didn't know. But and it's really hard to cut around this. I cut the other half already, but I mean, I'm going to use it because I don't like being wasteful, but you can just watch me cut this if you need to know how. But I don't think I'm doing this any better if I'm being honest. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. They used two, like basically one whole squash, which is what I'm doing, to cook this, but my tray is so full. Let me insert the clip of their tray right here and look at my tray i also like who the heck is gonna eat all of this oh my gosh so i cut them all up i'm gonna cut the onions maybe i'll just put it in the tray for now and then i'll switch it after i finish cutting all this okay and they just had to cut it in like fours so i'll just they said four but my onion's small i'm gonna do three on each side and then just peel these and you don't need to cut them anymore because you're gonna blend all of this anyways i also said five garlic cloves but judging from the size comparison of both of these i feel like i might have to put more just like throw them in here i don't know uh, really nice olive oil first Okay, change of plans. So I'm going to put them on two small trays instead of the large one. Maybe I shouldn't have put all the onions and stuff on it first. Okay, I'll just grab half of this. They're all going to blend together anyway. So. Okay, so now this is my two trays. Their plate is so empty. Maybe I'll put a little more garlic. I just put like... Two, three more. I feel like I need another onion. Should I put one more onion? YOLO! Look how cute this onion is. It's so tiny. Okay. Anyways, we're going back. We're doing this again. I feel like I'm making so much. That's good, right? They said drizzle olive oil. But I don't really have a drizzling thing, so I'm going to just... Go for it. Mm. 
Oh my god, that was a lot. Maybe I'll just mix it with my hands. Woo! My hands are clean by the way, but also like it doesn't matter that much because everything's gonna be baked, so. And then we're just gonna salt this. So we're gonna put rosemary. Ooh, this is strong. We're just gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna cut some celery and cut these ends. These in half. I'll throw on four on each. Okay, and these are what they look like. And then I'm putting them in the oven for at 450 for like, it's at 30 minutes on the show, but I have a lot more than them. So I'm gonna put it for 30 and then probably make it a little higher. So I'm gonna say like 40. I'll check back with you when it's done and let you guys know then. Okay guys, so it's been an, over an hour. I kind of already let it cool. I'll show you. I'll show you on this camera actually. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, it didn't, I thought it would brown more, but I ended up just burning all the onions. But everything's fully cooked. Okay, the next step is to put all of them in the pot. I'm just taking out all the burn stuff. And I'm sorry about the lighting. It's getting, the sun keeps going up and down. But I'm just throwing all these guys. I'm just gonna use my hands. I think I let it sit on the stove for too long. And then we got another dish. Just take out all the super burn guys. Oh my god. I just burned my arm. Okay, gotta use my hands. They also never told me how to cook this. They didn't use aluminum, maybe for good reason. And then we're just gonna move that around and then add the vegetable chicken broth. Oh God, I spilled all over the floor. Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Enough that it looks like a stew with extra liquid, I think. Okay, I'll show you guys up close. It's supposed to boil. And we just let it simmer in there for a little bit. So after this, I'm gonna put it into the blender and blend it all up to make it that creamy soup. I feel like his had more liquid. Should I put a little bit more? Just a wee little bit. I finished the boiling part. I'm gonna put it all in here and then blend it. So hopefully this works out. It's supposed to be creamy. I feel like this is too hot. I don't want it to break. Okay, now let me pour the rest of this soup. And then, so you gotta let some air out. So I'm just gonna hold my paper towel over the little, so there's like a hole in here. I'm just gonna hold it over like this and then set it on one. Okay, it's still pretty chunky, so I think I have to keep going, but I'm gonna check just in case, you know? So the one on the video is way more liquidy, so I'm just gonna add some chicken broth. I gotta do what I gotta do. Starting at one. Okay, and then he said to add heavy cream, which I have this heavy whipping cream. I don't know the difference to be honest, so hopefully this works, but I'm just gonna watch this one more time. He just like eyed it. Creamy and so while it's set on one, we're gonna be adding a little bit of the cream. Let's do this again. <laughs> Color? It's like stuff up here. 
I'm gonna take a spatula because I feel like mine's just not as smooth. Oh my, it looks like poop. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that while I'm cooking. <gasps> oh my god. So I'm gonna just push everything down. He said to put the heavy cream in while it's on, but mine keeps splattering, so I'm just gonna put more in. And I'm just putting like a lot more than he did just because I have a lot more in portion. And we're gonna try it again. Here we go. Is it supposed to be this consistency? That's pretty creamy and velvety, right? There's still chunks in here. It said to put it at one on lowest and then put the heavy cream in, but it wasn't really working well. So, cause I still had chunks in it, so I just put it at two and I put the heavy cream on while it stopped. So I changed it up a little bit, and now I feel like it's okay. Turn this all back on. I put it at medium. And I'm just gonna pour all of this back in here. See you. off i feel like this is good enough okay we're gonna plate this but i'm gonna move the camera around a nice big fat dollop of sour cream on each please so he put something green in it like a green herb on top but i don't know what it was so i'm gonna just yolo it and put basil on it this is my little basil plant that i've been growing i feel like this is a lot chunkier than it's supposed to be yeah, it's just, it's not very soupy. <laughs> Did I fail? Is that what happened? The consistency of my soup compared to his is very different. Mine's like more like a solid. But you know what? I'm not gonna do it again. My portion sizes were very, very off, but I'm gonna just go for it. I've already come this far, and then they did this. This is sour cream. And I'll just throw it in here. And I'll just put... Should I put two? And I did it! There is my... I accidentally spilled it, but I kind of cleaned it. I'll show you guys a little close up from here. This is the final product. Um, I don't think it's nearly close to what it's supposed to look like or the consistency, but let's taste it with the sour cream and see how it tastes. It's pretty good, but to be honest, I've never had butternut squash soup before, so I don't have anything to compare it to. I'm gonna try it with my basil leaf and see. It actually doesn't taste bad with basil. It's pretty good. I would eat it again. I would make it a little differently this time now that I know, but it was my first time, so. I think I would give myself like a solid 7.5 out of 10, which isn't that bad because it didn't really look like the one from Queer Eye and I don't really know if it tasted anything like it, but it was pretty good, okay? Tune in next time on my food challenges. Peace. Hey guys, I'm back. So, <laughs> Irene and Lauren came. They're my guest features. Come on guys, come over here. Wait, but I need, an, I need an honest review, okay? Am I on camera? Yes, you are. Hey. Okay, you gotta mix the sour cream in. Okay. I ate a lot of bread, my bread. It's okay, I ate a lot of bread today. How was it, Lauren? She ate two bites. Mm. You like it's it? It's good. You like it? It's good. Yay! Mm -hmm. Give it a rating it's good. out of 10. Honest rating, just... Okay. Eight.
Wow, you gave a higher rating than I gave myself. <laughs> what about you? 8.2. Whoa. I, I have a little bit of feedback. Okay, okay. <laughs> There's chocolate would, in there. <laughs> I would make it a little bit thinner. Like this would be good butternut squash ravioli type of. Yo, all right, next one. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it. This is the bacon Different show. Thing. Comment, like, subscribe. But don't share it. But if you know her, don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Until she's famous. Bye. Ooh, that was so accurate. <laughs> <laughs>